All right, Kaz, I'll eat my crow for the Akron game because Rutgers did everything we could ask for and a little bit more in that one. But what the heck happened in Blacksburg? We all know that stadium can get rocking if you don't put the Hokies away. And unfortunately for the Scarlet Knights, they just let them hang around a little bit too long and it bit them right in the booty. Absolutely. And the game should have never been in overtime to begin with. That Shepard fumble on Rutgers' last drive of regulation had them deflated going into overtime. They should have put it away with at least three. Yeah, but all we can do now is hope that a 2 and one Rutgers team can hold their own against number 15 Washington coming into SHI Stadium undefeated. I think the defense will play well enough to keep them close, but I see Rutgers losing 23-10. to You have it that close? <laughs> Respect. I think it could get ugly here. Washington 34, Rutgers 13. Thanks for tuning in to the Man Cave featuring Kaz and Kevin on Fox Sports WCTC, 1450 AM, New Brunswick. You heard the boys at the Man Cave. Not a lot of belief in these Scarlet Knights to take on a number 15 Washington Husky team coming into SHI Stadium undefeated. And the Rutgers Scarlet Knights going to have to brave some elements here as we get a damp, rainy game. But we'll see if they can endure as we are underway at SHI Stadium in Piscataway, New Jersey. Giles Jackson downing it in the end zone. And Washington will bring it out to their own 25. Jonah Coleman, the junior halfback, being highlighted at the start of this game. But Washington starting with the pass. Throw left side by Rogers, But unfortunately, a little illegal block in the back. Giles Jackson called for the infraction, and he is a big-time receiver for the team. We'll see if he can make it up later on in the game. Here, going to go with the running game, and that goes for an easy first down. So the Huskies get a first down even after penalty, and then a beautiful throw from Rodgers getting that out to number 88, Quentin Moore, the tight end. Now Giles Jackson can't get anywhere, so a second and 14, gonna run it again on the ground with the Huskies, and that'll leave a third and long. Third and 10, Rodgers left side, complete at the first down marker, and the Huskies continue to move the ball really well here to open this drive. Nice little misdirection run play, knocked down after a gain of four, it'll be second and six, right side throw, that one completes on the right sideline. So Washington continuing to move. Big third down here though, and the throw short of the stick by Will Rogers. Going to leave a field goal attempt up and no good, just wide for the Washington kicker gross and that kick was pretty gross. And so Rutgers gets to start with it. Kyle Manongai in their first drive, gonna get the first carry of the ball game, but a hold against the Scarlet Knights offensive line. That's Holen Pierce called for the infraction. Here goes Kyle Manungai anyways on first and 20, picks up four. Little play fake to Manungai and it is Shepard drilled in the backfield. Third and 23, another play fake. This time blocking doing quite well. Shepard downfield finds a man first down. Excellent job finding Demir Miller for a huge Scarlet Knight first down. First and 10, that one complete, no incomplete hit out of the hands of Kanopka. And Manangai going nowhere on second down. So third and 13, Shepard again has to find something, but unfortunately hit as he throws, results in a Rutgers punt. Still no score, there's a beautiful completion right over the hand of a would-be defender. Here's a little trickery, a little double reverse. Giles Jackson spinning away and picking up a first down for the Huskies. There's a throw and whew, hospital ball thrown there by Will Rogers. Instead, they'll go on the ground on second down to pick up two. Third and eight. Will Rogers hits he throws, completes it anyways but unfortunately not enough for a first down for Washington. Nice option play for Rutgers after the punt and a big nine yard gain to end the first quarter. Still scoreless in this contest. 
Not a lot of offense going for Rutgers. We'll see if they can kick it up a notch. Here goes a Johnny Shepard on the option play. Nice sidestep, picking up a first and 10. At their own 32-yard line, a Johnny Shepard going to go with the quick pass. Out of the backfield, it's Kyle Manungai picking up three yards. Manungai in motion again. Could go to him. Shepard just going to throw it away, though. Smart play. Didn't want to do anything dangerous. Third and seven. Here's Shepard stepping up, and he's going to take off with it himself. Just past the first down marker and out of bounds. Here's Shepard pitching, Manongai taking advantage and finding his way out of bounds after a nice gain. First and 10, little misdirection play for Samuel Brown, the fifth, but unfortunately, it looks like one of his linemen is not on his side here with a hold. That one again is Holen Pierce. He has not had a great game thus far. First and 19. And a Johnny Shepard goes nowhere. Leave it a second and 21. Here's Shepard getting it out of his hands quickly to Manongai, letting him do a lot of the work. And he does a lot of work, making it a third and manageable. And on third and four, a Johnny Shepard finds the first down himself and slides down after a big gain inside the 30. First and 10, Manongai just takes that thing right up the middle, but unfortunately, Looks like they're going to flag another one of his linemen. This is another hold against the Scarlet Knights. Their linemen just not well done here. And it's really just Holden Pierce. That is his third penalty of the game. Now going to go with Samuel Brown, the fifth. I don't know that he realized that he had the football on that one. Second and 21. Little play fake to Manangai. Throwing up the middle and Kanapka not able to make the grab. Third and 21, a Johnny Shepard lays one in there beautifully, but unfortunately, a huge hit just going to knock that thing loose. Unfortunate. There's a big hit on Will Rogers. He's lucky not to be injured. Will Rogers on second and 10, finds Giles Jackson. That goes for a first down for the Huskies. They're trying to get some points on the board before the half. Right side throw, that one complete. Second and six left. Will Rogers going to hand this one off on a little bit of a draw play. Goes for a first down. A little injury on the play as well. Right side throw over the head of his intended target. Could have been a hospital ball on that one. Second and 10. Will Rogers finds a man that goes for a first down. Now Will Rogers with 42 seconds left. Scanning finds a hole in the zone. Huge play. Washington. Ready to strike and put some points up on the board all the way inside the 20. From the 15-yard line, Will Rogers scanning a lot of deep routes, but he gets the short route. Short of the first down, they got to take time out. None left now. Rogers to the end zone. It's intercepted. What a play. And fortunate play there for Rutgers in the right place. But there's a safety on the jet sweep. A play run so much by Rutgers, everybody could see it coming. And now Washington with the football and not a lot of time to go in the half. Four seconds left. Will Rogers going to have to let one loose? And he does. And that one is cut off and knocked to the ground. So a very... Defensive first half, two to nothing. We've had some turnovers out there. 93 total yards for Rutgers, 173 for Washington. Let's begin this second half. A Johnny Shepard with a play fake, a roll to the right. Beautiful throw and a wonderful toe drag swag for Rutgers. Here out of the backfield, but Nungai is hit instantly. Second and 15. Here's the jet sweep. That's not going to work for Demir Miller. Leaves a third and 18. But look at this. Horrible press coverage is going to leave Christian Dremel open on the streak for the Scarlet Knight touchdown. Christian Dremel gets wide open on the go route. And bang, look at this. Just cannot catch him. Rutgers takes the lead on the biggest play of the ballgame. 
Devin two here underneath throw, and that goes to Giles Jackson. He catches it, gets past the first down marker. Now running the football, held up by his own lineman Zanus. And here's a second and 11 running and leave a third and 12. Lost a yard on that play. Looked like he ran pretty far to pick up a loss of a yard. There's an underthrown ball by Will Rogers and it is intercepted. What a play, Ryan Longerbeam. So now here's a jet sweep going to the right. That one for Long and he picks up six on the rush to the right. Here, going with the screen pass, Manungai looking to follow his blockers, looking to make a cut, and picks up an easy first down and a little bit more. Now Manungai running, nice cutback, and a truck. Did you see that? Wow. Second and three, here's Kanapka breaking a tackle and picking up a first down. These rack yardage plays are just working for Rutgers right now until Manungai gets hit for a three-yard loss. A young guy on the play fake, Shepard under heavy fire, he goes down. Third and 18, but he has come up with some big ones today, and he comes up with a great throw that just cannot be caught by Victor Kanapka. So Washington gets the football back. They're gonna start with a run, and that's probably their best run of the day. First and 10, they're gonna stay on the ground with this one, and that goes for a pickup of two. At their own 46, Will Rogers nearly intercepted. But it goes for a completion. And now running the football, first down for Washington. They're gonna stay on the ground, why wouldn't you? Picking up four. Now, a little fake jet sweep, gonna throw to the right side and steps out of bounds, Giles Jackson. That'll leave a third and eight, should have been an easy first down. Will Rogers left side, lovely drag. First and 10 and a loss of three heading into the fourth quarter, seven, three. And as you can see, the yardage starting to even out a little bit. Rutgers on that big play. So first play of the fourth quarter, right side throw to the tight end, going to the 30 yard line. It'll be a third and six now for Washington, running the ball on a little bit of a delay but they're gonna go for it on fourth and two and wide open for an easy first down. Wow, Washington looking to get on the board here for the first time offensively. Right side throw complete. Second and seven, thrown up the middle and incomplete, nice hit. Third and seven now, wide open up the middle, complete but does not get the first. So they go for another fourth down and this one is caught into the end zone. Easy tutty. And that one gonna work out well for the Washington Huskies. That'll give them their first lead of the football game since they had that safety. And their first offensive score. Now they're gonna go for two, trying to make it a 10-7 game, but it is intercepted in the end zone, trying to run this thing back, but unfortunately not gonna get there. Tareem Powell, nice play. So a one point football game. Here's Christian Dremel trying to find any room he can find, only gets a yard. Second and nine and hit as he throws. Third and nine now for a Johnny Shepard going deep and he probably should have went over the middle. He had a man, but instead it'll be knocked away. Rutgers punts, Washington with it, but Tareem Powell is there as Will Rogers was under pressure and Tareem Powell is gonna take the yik six all the way back to the Casa 47 yards for the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. And that has ignited the building. Piscataway is rocking, ladies and gentlemen. They have not seen an upset like this in a really long time. Obviously, they have the roster this season to do it, but seniors like Tareem Powell will not be here next season. So this, it's now or never with this roster as they're trying to get the two-point conversion. Does not work out. It'll be a 13-8 ball game. Will Rogers up the middle. Got to run a little bit quicker than this. 2.47 to go. Rogers, and that one hit before the line to gain. Will Rogers now. On a play fake, finds a wide open tight end out of the backfield there. Quentin Moore just looking really good. Here's another one, right side. That one complete to the back out of the backfield for a gain of three. 
Second and seven up the middle again. Moore been a big target of the day. First and 10. Under two minutes to play now. Why not go back to Moore? Second and two. Will Rogers left side throw complete to the other tight end, Ryan Otten. Now a play fake. Right side, Will Rogers complete. Giles Jackson gets out of bounds. Washington playing smart as well. There's a throw and cut off and intercepted. What a play. And the Rutgers Scarlet Knights, Igbenosin with a huge interception. And now Rutgers is trying to play a little keep away. Second and five, beautiful lay in. What a throw. And that'll get a jet sweep going in the hands of Long. And that'll force Washington to start rolling those timeouts. Here's Kyle Manungai, and he gets through. Manungai into the open field. Touchdown. You cannot stop Kyle Manungai if he does not want to be stopped. And on that one, he was looking for more points with 110 to go. Rutgers puts up more. 20 to 8 the score. Will Rogers gets it back, though. See if he can do anything with it. After a two-yard gain, he escapes pressure. Looking to throw downfield, finds on downfield. And that'll go inside the 35 of the Ops. First and 10. Will Rogers, and he's intercepted again. Longer beam. Wow. Rutgers has come to play defensively and it will result in pandemonium in Piscataway as the Rutgers Scarlet Knights have come away with an upset of the number 15 Washington Huskies. They outplayed them defensively. I don't know if you could say they outplayed them offensively, but we'll see what the Man Cave boys have to say about this game. All right, I knew the defense was going to play well, but wow. That said, we do have to remember that this isn't the Washington Huskies team from last year with Michael Penix and Roma Dunze. True, and they no longer have Kalen DeBoer either with him moving on to Alabama, but they still started the season 4-0 and ranked number 15 in the nation. I expected more from them, but Rutgers' defense had them bottled all day long. Yeah, the rain played a huge role as well. Either way, it's a big one for the Scarlet Knights after the heartbreaker in Blacksburg. Now they have to go over to Lincoln to take on the Nebraska Cornhuskers, who are 5-0 and and another top 15 team at number 11. Yeah, I, I, I don't see it here. Nebraska has a hard time blowing anyone out, but that Dylan Riola is the real deal. Give me the Huskers, 24-14. This game has given me some hope, but I think Nebraska's too much, and <clears throat> it, it pains me to say that. I'm with you, Kev. Give me Nebraska 27-13. Same vein as you. I think Rayola is him, and we'll see how he does against a Rutgers defense that is clearly playing well. Yes, sir. Big test after big test right now for Rutgers. Thanks for tuning in to the Man Cave featuring Kaz and Kevin on Fox Sports WCTC 1450 AM New Brunswick. All more good news in this episode as Josh Best, who will become one of you out there, has committed. Paul Hepburn, who will not become one of you, has also committed from Princeton, New Jersey, three-star left guard. And Tareem Powell has won Big Ten defensive player of the week with his performance a couple of tackles deflection tfl can't forget the uh interception for a touchdown hello we're gonna go ahead and add to our recruiting archetype here I'm gonna go ahead and make everything except for linebackers a two out of four which helps us out Gene Lennon, we were really looking to get him as well as Ronnie Yoder, but unfortunately they have chosen other local schools like Boston College and Syracuse. And Dylan Jennings was a bit of a reach for us. He is not even gonna take his week seven visit. Russ Hagens has committed to Pitt. We weren't really going crazy after him anyway. Doug Jones is ready to get his visual visit scheduled. So we will go ahead and schedule his visit for UCLA and trying to see what 
exactly we want to go with. I think we're going to go with championship contender for Doug Jones' visit. I think that's probably going to be the best way to go. The left tackle, six foot seven out of Freehold, New Jersey. We'd really like to bring him in. Currently, our class is ranked 10th. We have 10 three star commits right now. And it is time to see if Rutgers can live up to the task after a huge upset. See if they can live up to the task of taking on number 11, Nebraska. Another undefeated team. This time, they're going to have to do it on the road. Game highlighting Malachi Coleman as the lead player, but we know that they have a lot of young talent. Dylan Riola, just a freshman quarterback. Uh, Dante Dowdle just a sophomore running back. So Malachi Coleman, a sophomore himself. So lots of young talent on this Nebraska Cornhusker offense. We'll see if Rutgers defense is really up to the task after playing so well. Obviously, the guys at the man cave don't think that they're going to last in this game against Nebraska. But Rutgers has done a great job of hanging around. And even in these games, we did not think that they would. We'll see if they can surprise us again here against the Huskers. Here we go, set to kick it away is Patel, and we are underway in this Nebraska Cornhusker game. They will go ahead, take the knee. They are highlighting Thomas Fidone the second, the tight end, number 24. We'll see if he makes any big plays today. Here's Dylan Riola, there's a slant play. That is complete almost immediately. And now a run play for Dowdle wide open. Any jumps over a would-be tackle. Look at that. Though they do get an injury to the offensive line. Justin Evans goes down. But here's Dowdle again on first and ten, picking up six, making it a second and four from the 31-yard line. Easy throw and no tackle made by the Rutgers defense there. Easy play for Isaiah Neor, the one true senior who's out here, and he did it again. Nior making some plays up the middle. Here's a run play. That goes for an easy first down on second and two. Second and nine for Nebraska, and running up the middle. That'll go for really close to a first down. Third and one. Riola looking to throw. Finds a wide open receiver in the end zone. Easy touchdown. And the Corn Huskers will go on top already. Seven zip. Big play, big catch, and big touchdown for Kalen Lloyd of the Nebraska Corn Huskers. Here, Rutgers starting. Jet sweep on third and nine. Picks up a first down. Demir Miller. Now, again, man in motion here. Fake jet sweep. Fakes to the running back. A Johnny Shepard with a throw and jarred loose. What a throw by a Johnny Shepard, though. Can't sell that short. Here's a Johnny Shepard and gets away from the pressure. I don't know how he did that. Picks up about six. Third and four now. And Shepard right away getting that out to long, but he gets smacked. Ball back in the hands of the Cornhuskers. And there you go, big sidestep, big play for Malachi Coleman. He was highlighted for a reason. Here's Dowdle up the middle, picks up nine. It'll be second and one for Nebraska. 35 seconds to go in the quarter. Dowdle, easy first down pickup for him. From the Rutgers, 48. Here's Riola over to Malachi Coleman. Nobody's gonna be there. First down play. From the 30, give it to Dowdle. And Dowdle following his blockers perfectly knocked out of bounds around the 10. And we are through one quarter of play. 7 0 Nebraska threatening again. Dowdle up the middle, can't stop him. And Nebraska starting with a two score lead early second quarter. It's going to be really tough for this Rutgers team on the road in hostile territory and a Johnny Shepard wanted to really throw the ball there but unfortunately passed the line of scrimmage here's a Johnny Shepard rolling to his right trying to throw complete to Christian Dremel what a throw by a Johnny Shepard he has definitely shown flashes of being an incredible player 
Hopefully he can just continue to improve and get better as Manangai picks up the first down. Here's a Johnny Shepard on the option. A Johnny pitching it too long. And he picks up three. Third and 10 though. Here's a Johnny Shepard rolling to his left, throwing and completing to Demir Miller, who tries to cut it back inside, but he is tackled and just inside the 20 yard line. First and 10, Shepard gets it out to long. Nice sidestep, picks up five. Rutgers trying to stay in this football game. Here's a Johnny Shepard going down, big sack. No pause by the Nebraska defense. Here's Shepard from behind brought down and that leaves Patel out to try a field goal, which is no good. Rutgers doing all that work with no points to show for it. So Nebraska takes over. There's Malachi Coleman with a play running up the middle. Nice rat catch. First and 10, Riola left side completes. That was the tight end highlighted earlier. There's a flag on the play. Might be a roughing. And it is personal foul roughing the passer on Malcolm Ray, who got in there on Dylan Riola, but unfortunately called for the unnecessary penalty. That'll leave a third and five here for Nebraska. Riola trying to set up the screen. Does. It is complete and goes for a first down. What a play. Now Riola underneath. That's complete. That goes for a decent enough gain to pick up a second and three. From the 18-yard line, Nebraska, 58 seconds to play in the first half. That one complete up the middle. And there's Nior again. Third and goal with 13 seconds left. Taking some chances here. Nebraska continuing and hit as he throws through the back of the end zone. So Nebraska will just go ahead and take their chip shot field goal to make it a 17-0 ball game. Not in great shape here for Rutgers. Here goes a Johnny Shepard and Shepard brought down. So halftime upon us on the road in Nebraska and the Nebraska faithful happy about this one. 17 zip Dante Dowdle has had a wonderful game. Seven for 71 and a touch. Just imagine what his final stat line could be. Never know. But 17 0 Nebraska. We'll see if Rutgers has what it takes to maybe pull a comeback here. Let's see. A Johnny Shepard rolling to his right, trying to drop one in there, but it is cut off and intercepted. And this is not looking like a great start. Malcolm Hartzog with the interception. So now Dylan Riola, chance to throw another TD, but he throws a pick. Kareem Powell does it again. He has had an incredible season, and he gets the touchback for Rutgers. Here goes a Johnny Shepard taking this thing up the middle, trying to get down to the ground, first and 10. From their own 37, Rutgers, a Johnny Shepard gonna roll. Gonna try to take off down the sideline, pushed out of bounds after a gain of six. Second and four, Manungai now getting a little workload. Big run for him into enemy territory. At the 35-yard line, Shepard going to keep it himself up the middle again. That one's kind of working for Rutgers. Little middle blast quarterback. Second and two now. Ajani going to roll to his right. He's got nothing but grass in front of him. He might want to get all the way. He is down to the one. What a run by Ajani Shepard. First and goal now. Rutgers, can they get their first point to the contest? Shepard to Manungai, easy touchdown. Rutgers, Scarlet Knights. There you go. Rutgers has their first points of the football game. 17-6. The extra point is good. It's 17-7. Riola to Dowdle. Dowdle not going to get to the marker, but leaves a third and two. He could do it here. He's going to be a motion to the right, so Riola's going to throw for it. Riola going deep, and he completes this thing. Malachi Coleman burns the defense. Just when Rutgers thought they had nabbed just a little bit of momentum away, Malachi Coleman 
beating them deep. So now Rutgers trying to continuously stay in this football game. Kyle Manungai with a nice seven yard run there. Now play fake to Manungai. Shepard looking, he has nobody open here, but he finds a man on the right sideline with a beautiful throw. So now first and 10 from their own 37 yard line. Here's a run for Kyle Manungai left side, trying to truck over some defenders. It doesn't work and tight end Dom Tuck goes down with an injury needing the trainers. So from their own 44 yard line, it's Manungai trying to continue. He breaks a tackle and he gets into opposing territory at the 42 yard line. Bruise ribs for Dom Tuck. Apparently he'll return soon. I don't know how you return soon from Bruise ribs, but sure. Here's a Johnny Shepard looking to roll. He's got nowhere to go. He's just going to go ahead and chuck it in the middle of the field. That is so dangerous. He had been playing so smart until that point. We'll take a quick little break here. Top 25 rankings for those of you who may be interested. Take a peek at that. Here goes a Johnny Shepard rolling right. He's got literally nowhere to go with the football. He's just going to chuck one deep, and that is, that is what freshmen do. Ill-advised, just trying to make a Superman play. Now, fortunately, it leaves Nebraska pinned, but not with Dante Dowdle. He gets out of a lot of trouble there. To leave a second and one from the nine and a half yard line. And that's a beautiful throw from Riola to New York. He had four catches for 47 yards in the football game. There's a hit as he's trying to throw. So right now, Nebraska punting two minutes to play in this one. Not a lot of time. You have to figure Rutgers not going to come back in this one. But that's a nice catch, though. Keep the ball rolling. From the 48-yard line, a Johnny Shepard finds Manungai. That play works really well. Down to the 27-yard line. Rutgers at least trying to battle for a little respect here. Here goes a Johnny Shepard looking for a block. He gets one from Christian Dremel. Picks up a first, second, and eight. Little jet sweep. It's going to work. Dremel to the corner. Touchdown, Rutgers. Christian Dremel finds his way to the corner of the end zone. And it's 24-14, your final. Nebraska able to hold off Rutgers. Rutgers defense didn't play all that bad, but they did give up a couple of big plays to these young superstars and it kind of bit them a little bit. Rutgers, a young team, a lot to learn. They did get that upset in the home game against Washington this episode, but not going to be that easy against Nebraska on the road. Dave Spitzer from Atco, New Jersey will not become one of you, but he has committed to the school. We're happy to have him. Next, we will see Rutgers take on another top 20 team in the Wisconsin Badgers. They'll get this one at home. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching.